Hi guys, welcome to another one of uh, PJ's quick radio removal guides. Today we are working on any Ford KA 2009 onwards with this sort of dashboard. And basically we have a Connect 2 kit, uh, installation kit, hot number here as you can see, nice and easy. Uh, this in, in this kit you will get various bits and bobs such as a, you know, an aerial connector, a fascia adapter there and also steering control harness if you've got uh, little buttons on the steering wheel there to open down your volume and a little adapter lead there so moving on to removing the actual radio itself okay so to remove the radio the first thing you want to do is get your little plastic pry bar put it underneath these little rotating vents under the chrome bit here yeah and gently ease it out you'll notice four locating lugs one here one underneath one on each side basically and it will pop forward a couple of millimetres. When you've done that, just rotate it a little bit and pull it out. And you'll notice the uh, the vent here has got a lip, so you've got to remove these to, to get the radio out. Same with this side. It's, uh, like I say, a rotate sort of fit. So just spin it round and pull it out. It will come out very, very easily. Uh, your next step, this bit can be really, really tricky. They can be really stubborn and stiff. What you're going to do is get yourself some of the uh, U-shaped release keys and bend it so that uh, you're only using one end. If you haven't got these, you could use a very fine, uh, you know, Torx bit or Phillips screwdriver, but it's got to go quite a long way in. So as you can see there, you know, the whole thing's gone in and you'll feel the resistance as a springy tab that it'll push against. So what you want to do is work on one side at a time. Just gently keep some pressure on that to the left, yeah, and under here just ease that just up between the two layers of plastic there, and then again at the top corner here, very gently though, you don't really want to be uh, putting loads of pressure on that, it's only plastic. So ease that until it moves forward sort of three or four millimetres, and then again on the other side, pull across, you'll feel resistance on the spring clip behind it, and again ease both sides until you can quite literally just pull your radio forwards. So gently easing the radio forwards. Just be careful because it is metal, you don't want to scratch your trim anywhere. You might want to uh, put some padding down or something. Pull it forwards and on the back you'll have an ISO. There you go. I've actually eased these very slightly already for the sake of this video because doing everything one handed is pretty tricky. Uh, these just pinch so you can uh, pinch the connectors on it. I say pinch, it's actually got it. Bear with me. So yeah, if we just pinch it off, they are two little spring clips each side. Look, you just press them in. Same with this one, normal ISO, it's got little spring clips on the side. Push both of them in and it'll just pull straight out. You've got a normal aerial connector there on the back, just wiggle it and pull it off, nice and easy. Move your stereo out of the way, you'll notice I've got a foam pad there so I don't scratch anything. Like I say, it's very easy to scratch something. You're left with a normal size hole basically uh, in the dashboard and you're free to fit whichever stereo you want. Uh, you are going to need your plastic fascia panel that I pointed out earlier, as such, there you go. Just slot that in there, look. And uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward to do. So at this point, you now want to remove in your two Phillips screws on one each side to get the cage out. So obviously the cage will only fit the original radio. One, two, not very long. Just watch them drop behind the dashboard there. There we go. Just pull those out. One, two, put those somewhere safe. You know, if you're going to be selling the car and need to refit the original radio in some years to come, just give that a bit of a shake. Sometimes you have to squeeze them and they come out easily. Take the hazards off, don't want to do that. Just give it a pinch. There we go. Cage out. Nice and easy. Well, guys, if this video is in the remotest bit helpful, please give me a like on the video below. It does help me continue to make these, you know, a little bit here and there. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye for now.